in this session, we want to pull everything together. In the previous videos and sessions, we've talked about the different components and, and how you start putting your operations manual together. And in this session, we're going to pull all of that together into a binder or a digital folder where you have your complete comprehensive operations manual. This is the key to having a turnkey business. I want to remind you that our ultimate business goal is to design a highly profitable business that runs smoothly and predictably while you own it and worth a fortune when you sell it. You want a business that can run on autopilot. Uh, no one wants to buy a job, especially yours, but if you've got a business that can run without you, there are probably a lot of people who are going to be very interested in that. Uh, so you want to design and implement systems, you want to document them, and you want to make your business systems dependent, not owner dependent. And the way you do that is by documenting your processes and systems and having that as a training tool and a guide for your employees and any future owners of your business. Now, Edward Deming is a very famous American management consultant, and he made a couple of statements that I think are very important to, to dwell on or reflect on as we begin this session. In one of those, he said, if you don't have a documented system for performing a task, then you should not expect people to perform at top levels. Think about that. If you don't have things documented, if you don't have procedures outlined, you shouldn't expect people to perform at top levels. And oftentimes that's what business owners do. We just want people to get in there and figure it out and do great. And most people, they can't do that. It's your job as a business owner to know and understand the best way to do the various things in your business and then to document them. Now, if you've got a rather mature or established business and you've got some people who know how to do a lot of these things, you can have them document them. And that way you've got that, that documented process or system that you need. But the point is, if you don't have it documented, you cannot expect people, especially new people, to come in and perform at a high level. A second thing that Edward Deming said, he said, if you can't describe what you're doing as a process, you don't know what you're doing. Think about that. I think sometimes as business owners, we have what I call phantom clarity. We, we think we know exactly what we want and how to do it, and, and it's all in our head, but nobody else really understands it. And so uh, if you can't describe it, and that's why you want to write these things down, if you can't describe it as a process or a procedure with clear steps, then you probably don't know what you're doing, at least not as well as you think you do. So keep that in mind as we move ahead here. Now, I would suggest that this operations manual, and again, it can be a hard copy binder, or it can be a digital folder, uh, or probably both is what you need. Uh, it, it will have five chapters, and you may want to have an introduction before those five chapters, but the five chapters are the core, the heart and soul of your business and your operations manual. And if you do have an introduction section in your, in your binder, in your operations manual, it will cover things like your mission and purpose. You want to tell a little bit about your story and vision for your company. And you want to touch the hearts of your, your employees and your people as they read this and as they, they hear this. And so you document it in there in the introduction. You want to talk about your core values. You want to talk about those things that are your guiding principles as a business owner and the guiding principles for your business. I like to refer to those as core values. Uh, you want to talk about or you want to show your organizational chart, and this will need to be updated from time to time. And if you don't understand uh, how to create an organizational chart, we've talked about that in previous uh, sessions or previous modules in this uh, course. And I encourage you to listen to every module in this course so you understand these components in detail. And then you may also want to have uh, a collection of all your job descriptions. All of that can be in an introduction chapter or an introduction section 
in your operations manual. But then when you really get into it, you've got five chapters. And these five chapters are the five big systems that you have on your systems checklist, the five systems we've talked about in previous modules, the five systems I've talked about in previous uh, sessions in this module. And those are chapter one can be your administrative system. And you've got every procedure documented in that chapter. Chapter two will be your fulfillment or, or delivery system, your operation system, if you will. Chapter three can be your marketing system. Chapter four can be your sales process and your sales system. And chapter five can be your HR system. And again, you don't have to have them in exactly that order. If you want to start with, with marketing, many people do, that's fine. That can be your chapter one. And sales can be chapter two. But be sure you've got those five chapters in your operations manual. Administration, uh, fulfillment or operations, um, uh, marketing, selling, and then the fifth one is HR. And uh, in each of those, we talked about how you want to have a have a purpose statement and have a, a graphic of your flow chart, how that, that system or that process works. You want to have specific policies to that particular system. And then you want to have all your procedures that are involved in executing in that system. So those things are the things that make up your operations manual. And you've got some examples there, uh, a template to follow, and I want to encourage you to use that. Now, let me just give you one warning as we, we wrap up this particular session. Uh, this is the point where many business owners and business leaders give up. They do. They give up right here. They start thinking about all of these things, all of these procedures, documenting all of, all of this stuff in their business, and they just go, that's just too much. And they give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do one procedure at a time, just one. Start with it and, and keep your mindset there. And remember, what are you doing this for? Why, why are you doing this? What do you really want? Uh, do you want a business that can run practically without you? If so, you've got to have this operations manual. Do you want a business that can grow and scale? you got to have scalable systems, and they have to be documented. Do you want a business that can be increasingly profitable and one day sellable? You've got to have this documented. It's critical that you do that. And so don't be afraid of the time it's going to take. Uh, get people to help you. Get your team members to help you. They can write some of these procedures, and you can review them. I had one chiropractor, a client, and uh, she and her staff were very busy, just like probably you and your staff are. And so she even hired a high school co-op student to come in in the afternoons for two to three hours every afternoon after school and paid, her, paid that co-op student minimum wage and got somebody who would just go and interview every one of her employees and say, what do you do? And this co-op student wrote it down. And how do you do each of these things? And she, she wrote down all the steps to each of the things that each of the employees did. So that's another way you can do it, very inexpensively. If you want to invest the money, you can hire a professional consultant to come in and write that operations manual for you. But I recommend that you as a business owner, you lead your team in doing this. Don't do it all yourself. If You, you can delegate some of it, and you should be able to if you've got staff. Get them to help you and work with you on this. So, so don't be afraid of the time. You've got plenty of time. So just take your time and be consistent at it. Don't think you'll never accomplish it because you will and you can. And I've had clients, numerous clients, who have accomplished it. And as a result, they've been able to sell their businesses. They've been able to scale their businesses. They've been able to improve their businesses and dominate a larger market share. They've been able to train new employees and grow their staffs in a very efficient and effective way. But it starts by having a documented operations manual. That is a turnkey business. So how do you get started? You start, uh, it's like eating an elephant. You start one bite at a time. 
So one procedure. What's that first procedure you're going to document? Maybe you've already documented it. And I recommend start where you have the most troubling or the most troublesome problems. Start documenting those, those procedures and get them cleaned up and fixed and all of your team members on board with it and then go to the second system and, uh, or the second procedure and then the third procedure. And, and you can work on one system at a time or you can just work on a little bit of each system along the way, but just work at it consistently. Take your time, plug along, uh, use our Facebook group and other resources to help you stay motivated and focused, and you can get it done, and you can have a turnkey business. <music>